What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. This is Charlie Lane. Today, I would like to show you how the immersion cooling in mining works. Very fortunately, today I'm with a very reliable and suitable company for something like this. This company has been started by someone that's been doing mining since 2016. He has been a big miner and he is a VIB customer to Bitmain company. That says a lot. The owner of the company is called Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan started doing mining since 2016. At the end of the year of 2016, Mr. Fan and his wife discovered that there is a huge need for immersion cooling for GPU mining. That's how they started the journey. Before the Ethereum merge, Mr. Fan decided to do something big with this. This is what they built for immersion cooling for GPU mining. I'm sure guys like Red Panda Mining and DJ Mines will like this very much. After the Ethereum merge, they found out that they have to switch to ASICS immersion cooling. So here is where all the new journey starts. However, this is never something that's easy to do. Mr. Fan told me that he's made many mistakes in the past, or we could not say these were mistakes or failures because those were just part of the journey on the way to perfection. In the past, they could only use the expensive electronic liquid for this immersion cooling. In a very extreme case, Mr. Fan had somebody that didn't want to use this liquid. That led to the complete breakdown of 1600 GPU miners. That was a huge mistake. So with every passing day, just like everybody else, every day is better than yesterday. This is the same with his product. So today, I'm going to show you the fifth generation of Mr. Fan's immersion cooling products. Right now, he has up to generation eight, but today I'm only going to show you generation five. So if this is good, generation eight must be much better. Over here you can see this is a very huge water tower for the immersion system to happen. And over here is the essential part of the immersion cooling system. This part is the oil filter. And this is the pump for the oil. And this one is called heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is the most expensive part of an immersion cooling system. It allows the heated oil to be cooled together with the water. It is composed of multiple liquid plates for the water and oil to go side by side. It's very simple. One of the things other competitors couldn't do is that he allows this kind of drawer system to be really smooth. So people can install the miners very easily and they can also open the drawer to see the miners inside very conveniently. And also the oil inside can be filtered in a very scientific way which no other competitors can easily do. So the immersion cooling system for mining is actually very easy to understand. We know the oil could help to cool down the miners, but after heated up, the oil has to be cooled. And that's what the water tower is all about. The water will be coming from this big water tower and it will go through these tubes via this big water pump to go into the immersion cooling system. After the oil is cooled, the water will be going back to the water tower to finish the water circulation cycle. It's very easy to understand. Okay, without any further ado, let me show you how this system works. Okay, let's turn on the system. Schneider, and we can choose English over here. This immersion cooling system is composed of three floors. This first pump refers to the top floor and pump two refers to the middle floor, and pump three refers to the bottom floor. Okay, let's open the drawer. So it's very smooth, right? That thing is organic glass. Okay, right now you can see there's a red light over here because we're kind of disconnected from the internet, so we cannot do any mining over here. Today we're just gonna do some testing, and right now you can see four miners on the outside. In the inside, you can see four other miners. One floor can host up to eight miners. This thing can help to host 24 miners altogether. Let me touch this oil to see how it feels. I've never touched something like this. Oh, so this is just like average oil. <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad. Okay, so we just turned on the water tower as well. I found that there is another use for this immersion cooling system. It is that we can use the heat from the system to help to heat up some of the houses in Europe because they're short of the natural gas over there, right? And according to Mr. Fan, this can actually work. All we need to do is to just to change that water tower into one of your houses. Okay, so I just turned off the water tower over there. So right now we can only hear the miners. So you can hear that it is actually very silent, right? 
the immersion cooling system helps to cool down the whole mining process. In this way, we can improve the longevity of the machines technically. I have only one concern. It is that for a system like this, you will need to up to 24 miners. That's going to cost you a fortune. But anyway, I hope this can be a solution to silent mining and home mining. Okay, before this place, I showed you Mr. Fan's lab for the immersion cooling system where he does most of his research and development. And over here is his warehouse. Or you can say this is a showroom right now. I'm gonna show you the warehouse later. Uh, this is their generation eight immersion cooling boxes. And this one has uh, three floors and this only has uh, two floors. This has mobile joils for the miners. You know, you can uh, get it out like this. But this one is a uh, fixed type and that one uh, is larger. It's also fixed type. These two models of the Generation 8 immersion cooling boxes can help to host up to 24 miners each. This container is also Generation 8 and this can help to host up to 40 uh, miners. What's special about this uh, Generation 8 is that it can help to host both ant miners and wolf miners because the wolf miners are slightly different. You kind of need a taller space for this. And also in order to cater to the needs of wolf miners, we also have to add some more cables like this. Uh, you can see, I don't know how to say this in English, but uh, you should be able to see that uh, this cable is for the both miners and these two cables are for the end miners. So this feature is the same for all these uh, Generation 8 boxes. And also, if you observe carefully, you would find out the filtration holes uh, on the bottom of the boxes are also slightly different. <laughs> Maybe today I don't have enough time to show you the differences. Okay, after seeing the showroom of the Immersion Cooling Box Factory, I'm going to show you this massive warehouse over here. Okay, so these boxes are full of accessories for the immersion cooling system that will be shipped to America. Okay, that's pretty much about what I want to show you today. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.